rest in natural great peace this exhausted mind beaten helplessly by karma and neurotic thoughts like the relentless fury of the pounding waves in the infinite ocean of samsara the rest in natural great peace Sometimes it's wonderful when you really remember what the masters have done and taught. It immediately moves us. It really inspires, connects us. Therefore, we feel a sense of gratitude and appreciation of their work. So, Eugene Chandrabhuje, in this wonderful poem, he says, "Rest in natural great peace. This exhausted mind." helplessly by karma and neurotic thoughts like the relentless fury of the pounding waves in the infinite ocean of samsara rest in natural great peace rest in natural in tibetan is rangi hwachi rest in natural great peace this exhausted mind beaten helplessly by karma and neurotic thoughts like the relentless fury of the pounding waves in the infinite ocean of samsara rest in that you to rest to find rest okay it's just really the finding that rest that the comfort and ease just to let go and just to just naturally be then you see the mind just quietly settle just like a glass of muddy water if you don't stir it the dirt will slowly settle in the same manner if you let the mind be spacious openness slowly the confusion or the turbulence of thoughts and emotions settles the rest in natural peace the rest in natural peace this exhausted mind beaten helplessly by karma and neurotic thoughts like the relentless fury of the pounding waves in the infinite ocean of samsara rest in natural to rest to find rest clear